What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, you know who it is. Going by the intro alone, you know who I am, so uh, let's get into it. And as the picture's on your screen, you can see... What we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk, but we're not gonna talk about what you, the way you think I would talk about it. I'm not gonna get involved in as far as in depth as far as the excuse me the situations involved. I'm gonna talk about how black people love the misery aspect of this. Now, your top right, your top left, I mean, is uh, Magic Johnson and uh, Donald Sterling, and you know the ongoing saga there. The bottom left is Dr. Dre and the Apple or Mac logo, and uh, Dr. Dre sold Beats for 3.2 billion with a B. And on the bottom right is Jay Z, his wife Beyonce, and on Jay Z's left is his sister-in-law, Soledad O'Brien. <laughs> I don't know. I forget her. My fault, bad. But I think Saul Lodge, whatever. Yeah, whatever her name is. And the top is yours truly above their picture now I'm gonna talk about each situation as far as how it relates to the overall the people's view overall I'm not gonna go in depth in any of these topics because like I said I think there's the one uh, the sterling magic I think there's a little personal shit going on dr. Dre that's his money it's his business as far as I'm concerned as far as JC Beyonce and Solage that's family business they got nothing to do with me all that would be rumor, conjecture, and innuendos, and that's not not what we do over here. But I'm gonna show you how we love the misery. Now you know the the Donald Sterling. I'm gonna start with Donald Sterling, Magic Johnson. Work my way to Dre, then go to Jay Z, uh, Solage, and Beyonce. Now the Donald Sterling incident. If you notice, he went on Anderson Cooper. He had an interview, and but first of all, let me say Anderson Cooper really didn't press any issues. They didn't press any buttons, you know. And if you not notice that about Anderson Cooper, when he gets put under pressure. He kind of doesn't rise to the occasion, if you would say. Like, if you saw his, like, when he was in Egypt, he kind of was, you know, a little shell-shocked. I mean, I guess I would be too, but Anderson Cooper is not really is the guy. He's, he's he's a name. He's not the guy that should that should do any high pirate interviews. I mean, I know he's a name to get it, but if you look at the, inter the way he does interviews, he doesn't really ask any questions. He kind of throws, he throws pitches down the middle, if you like, a baseball, like a pitcher. Like, uh, he throws fastballs right down the middle of the plate, and Sterling's knocking, and he went yard. But, as I was saying in that interview, Sterling apologized. Like, the, I saw I saw a good bit of the interview, and Sterling was a, a, a apologetic. And, you know, he was apologizing to everybody, saying he's not a racist. He loves his players. He didn't want to give the team up, and this, that. But then, in the same other side of the coin, uh, Sterling said, uh, well... What has Magic Johnson done for black folks and, you know, this and that. He's a terrible role model, and etc. Which I thought was, the you know, a backhand. He, he apologizes in one minute to the guy and, you know, smacks him again. But what gets me is the black folks don't they think they're winning by having this man, quote-unquote, forcibly sell his team. Let me tell you, folks, these are Jedi mind tricks. Because if this man has to sell his team, Mark Cuban has said, reportedly, he could easily, easily, let me say it a third time so you can understand clearly, he could easily clear a billion dollars for that team. Now, he bought that team in the 80s, I think, for like 12 and a half million. So, if he's forced, quote unquote, to sell that team, do you think he's really losing? Even though he's forced to sell that team, the guy is still winning. Either way, he, 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 he can sleep at night. And, and all this hoopla, jumping up and down, and whatever you guys are going to do. I mean, it, it's symbol, it's symbolic. I mean, my fault. It's, it's symbolic. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself, what are you really accomplishing? I, now, I can see the players. The players making choices. I understand that completely. As far as the overall people, you guys are going to have your opinions and all. But it's Jedi mind tricks. Even if he's forced to sell the team.
Even if the, the NBA owners, because I remember when Marge shot with the Cincinnati Reds, they, she had the force. She was forced to sell the Reds. I forget what happened. I think she said something about Jewish people or not. So I forget about that. But she had to sell the team. But even if if the NBA owners force this guy, which if you notice they're delaying him the, the vote or whatever, if he has the force to sell the team, he gets off with a cool billion. And, and and maybe more as this before after this video is done or this podcast is done, he'll get more. So you have to ask yourself: at the proverbial end of the day, what are you jumping up and down for? Like, oh, oh, he had to sell his team. The guy got a billion dollars for the team. What you get for it? What you, you know? You didn't get a, you, you, Blake Griffin didn't even give you a Kia. Come on, he didn't give you the mouse outfit to, so you can hop and down and dance. So. No, that situation is real tired to me, but, you know, it's just, it's Jedi mind tricks that's distracting you. So, I'm done talking about that right now. I'm going to go to Dr. Dre. Now, Dr. Dre sold Beats to Apple back for uh, $3.2 billion. And automatically, I guess, in the, and I guess, like I said, I with Dre, me personally, after all the work Dre has done, he has the right to do what he wants to do with his money. I guess he donated 30, 25 to 35 million to USC. I, I'm not sure of the amount. This is rumors and conjectures, I guess, from what I've, the reports I'm seeing. I'm not, I, I never really conf, has found a, a legit source. This is just a rumor as far as what I'm seeing on the Internet. I've seen it personally on the Internet reports. But there was a report that he did 20 to 35. I mean, he didn't come out and say he's done it. I'm just saying what's been out there. So... All of a sudden, I'm in it. Like I said, I'm in a lot of groups on Facebook, and my one group tailored to black people. They started flipping the you know what out. Oh, he should have donated that money to a historical black college, and you you know the the old dance song and dance that they're going to give. Well, he doesn't do nothing. Da, 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 da. Look, let me tell you something. That's that man's money. He don't if he donated to USC, he didn't have to do that fact of the matter is, what kills me is, you want to make this man donate to a HBCU, but at the same time, you can't even donate $100 to your United Negro College Fund. You can't even donate 20 bucks to your church. You can't go out and support your, your, your failing urban schools. But you want to tell this man how he should throw his money around? Look, man, if, if Dre wanted to sit up and burn all 33.2 billion, first of all, I think he would be crazy, but at the same time, that's Dre's money. Dre could do whatever the hell he wants to do with his money. Uh, we're, like, like, if he wants to set up business, cool. But a lot, I think what it is, a lot of black folks still have that mentality. Well, he needs to give the hookup. Like, like Hammer gave y'all the hookup. You saw where that got him, didn't you? Alan Iverson gave y'all the hookup. You saw where that got him, didn't you? I'm just saying, when when are you gonna get quit this mentality? Like, the, the, a lot of black people have this mentality. Like back in the 50s, 40s, and 30s, that were some monolithic group of people who should all think, act, dress alike. That those are robots. People, we're not that anymore. It, it, and it what kills me is they were going in on Andre. I'm like, you guys are going in like he owed you money. I mean, this is he's a grown man. He, he worked for it. I can see he, he just stole it, but he worked for it. What, that's what a lot of you guys don't understand, because a lot of you guys want to blame. You know who you want to blame. I'm going to say the mysterious guy you guys want to blame. But you won't blame you know who for every all, all your downfalls. But at the same time, if, if you look at a lot of these failures out here, and people you know I'm telling the truth, a lot of these failures are failures because they didn't want to do it. You know how it is. You know how, like, if you played a sport or if you, or like I say, act rap, or if you do something that's an entertainment or you do something that you want to do, you know if you want to try to get your your, your homeboys, to, you know, to, or your females, but hey, man, why don't you ride with me? I'm, I'm doing this thing here. You know what they say off the bat, man. That ain't doing nothing right now. I'm doing this. I'm getting my paper. The whole nine. And then when their stuff fizzles out, they want to come back to you, and you're like, look, man, I can hook you up with a J-O-B. They're like, J-O-B, I'm your boy. I'm like, hold up, man. Look, what am I supposed to give you a million dollars for being my homeboy? I mean, come on. I mean, it's just like you have, there's no, there's no, there's lack of ownership in one's life over here. Like I said, people were crying and whining in, 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 my, in this forum group about how Dre hasn't done, didn't do anything with the, with the black community. I'm like, Dre, just 
Dre probably didn't get the check signed yet. I mean, give the man credit. I mean, he he's a, a billionaire, the first billionaire in hip hop. Jay Z, Fifty, Diddy, Snoop, Kanye, none of them did that. You know, I I give credit where credit is due. But that goes to show you that uh, black folks will spend, will worry about what's in your garden before, like, they'll worry about your ripe tomatoes and steal your ripe tomatoes before they worry about their own rotten tomatoes. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm happy for Dre myself. You know, well, he, 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 that's, that's what you, look people, that's what you call a power move. A lot of you guys are mad because the only power move you can do is wind your, wind the windows up on your 1976 Ford Pinto. Now, don't get mad at me for that. It's just a fact of life. There are those who can, and there are those who can't. And those who can't, blame those who can. When all it took for you to do a little bit of work, but you didn't want to do the work, now you suffer the consequences. So, yes, I'm done talking about Dre. Now, I'm going to go down to the, the trio down there with uh, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Solage. Or what I, or Solo Dad, I don't know if I'll, I think it's Solage. Okay. I'm not talking about that situation because, like I said, that's family business. And if you notice, I really didn't go in detail as far as the, a lot of the personal business and the other people, too, because I don't do that. I don't go in as far as family business because that's their family business. Like I said, that's between those three. I want to talk about how everybody's making a big deal. But to me, it just happened to be them and it happened to get caught on tape. I've had, I used to be married. I fought with my sister-in-law before, too. It's no big deal. Me and her are still cool today. She's like my little sister, and I'm her big brother. Like I said, if anybody touches her, they know it's on. And if each chick gets lippy with me, I can call her up. That's how, that's how it is. And that's, that's why a lot of y'all don't want to get involved in that, because at the end of the day, that's still his wife's sister, and she's still going to be down for him no matter what she tweets, which is the only thing I found fault with her is is she went to Twitter, and said, if, if that was her, I doubt that was her with that comment, but if she did it, that was that's the only fault I can find with that. You don't Twitter bang, and you don't Twitter bang within your own family. God damn. That's the only thing I will say that you don't do. And all the other stuff, like I said, that's that's family business. But I, I just I just felt a type of way about that Twitter banging because that'd be like me when I was married and like my my little sister, my sister in law, going to Twitter this and that and the third. Because at the end of the day, we have a personal relationship. If you felt that type of way after the smoke cleared, you could have they we could have still talked it out. But you don't go to the, you don't expose the public you don't expose the public our dirty laundry. Like, I mean, and that's the thing to do. And, and black folks, what gets me is, while I'm saying, well, Jay-Z took an L. I'm like, look, man, if Jay-Z would have cracked her in a fucking jaw, you know, y'all would have seen. Y'all would have said the reverse. Like, the dude was damned if he did and damned if he didn't. To me, he handled himself like a man. He didn't crack her in the jaw, which, you know, she's sitting there and beating on him. Most of y'all wouldn't took a swing at her off these females, and y'all need to quit lying about that. I was always taught, keep your hands to yourself. So what I've hit... Old girl, if she would have hit me, I'm not saying I wouldn't, and I'm, I, you know, I, I can't guarantee that I wouldn't. I hope I wouldn't, but if it got to the point where there's a knife involved, hey, it's either fight or flight, and I can't fly, I have to fight. But this is what I, this is what I'm trying to say, you know, this is their business, and and people are just making fun. Well, he took her now. Now you got the mean means on all these guys, you know. Well, he didn't fight like like, and, and especially the the guys that don't see women naked except outside of the internet. These are guys that came to all these women's defense and uh, making excuses for him. Well, well, he's a punk. He didn't swing back, but at the same time, if he would have swung back and decked her and clocked her, these sailor hoes have been lining up. Saying, I'll take a swing at him. I'll do this. How dare he do this? And this is what I always say overall about black folks. Black folks love to see misery. Whereas we should be triumphing like the, the, the how Jay-Z. They, they got a tour getting ready to go on with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Do y'all, I hope y'all know that, right? They, it's going to be, pro, look, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a psychic, but it's probably going to be one of the highest grossing tours ever. It's going to surpass Michael Jackson and all that little fairy tale stuff he was doing. They're going. They're getting. I think I. I, I want to call. I want to nickname it the Bali and Clyde tour. I don't know what the name of the tour is, but that they're having the tour. So y'all need to get prepared for that. So and I think old girl, their sister, well, she will be there. 
But you guys should be, we should be celebrating those three, what they're, or not those three, because I don't even know what the little sister does. You should, we should be celebrating what Jay Z and Beyonce are doing. We should be celebrating the fact that Dr. Dre sold his, it, it was, it, he sold it to Apple. Come on. Apple probably said, you know, Apple can package it with an iMac or an iPod. I mean, and we should celebrate what Magic Johnson has been doing. But the problem is, we always want to look at the negative, and we want to look at the Jedi mind tricks that a lot of your so-called black leaders spoon-feed you, and you've been feeding so much that you're regurgitating. Well, you're, you're regurgitating the same actions that the people you say that you that hate you, you're doing what they're doing. So all you're doing is you're using hate and blackface. So at the end of the proverbial day, you got, it's, it's you can't cry about actions of other people doing to you when you're doing it to other people. And especially when you're doing it to your own. Like I said, I'm not going to talk about none of their, this, this personal stuff because that's their business. Like I said, I touched on one thing and I just because I felt that type of way. I'd be like, because I thought about my, if, what if my little sister, sister-in-law would have done that to me. I'd, I know how I would have felt. I said, hold up, man. Now, me and you were cool like that. If you would have, if you felt like that, you could have waited or something. You just, you just don't do that. It's your family. You know, and that's the problem with black Americans, man. Nowadays, there's no honor, there's no respect, or there's no nothing. And then you have to teach all these people this. So I just want to touch upon a lot of stuff. A lot of people may disagree with what I say, but a clear majority will agree with me. You just don't like the way that I'm saying it. So I got things to do, and I got women to see. So I'm out. Peace.